Mark Zuckerberg, isa sa tinuburian na bilyonaryo sa buong mundo at ang kanyang Facebook ay nanganganib na bubulusok. Marami na nag-unsubscribe sa Facebook at marami na rin ang kompanya na hindi na tumatangkilik nito. Ano nga ba ang dahilan bakit marami ang umaayaw na sa Facebook sa ngayon? Narito ang video. We face a number of important issues around privacy, safety, and democracy. And you will rightfully have some hard questions for me to answer. And more than 70 million biz small businesses use Facebook to create jobs and grow. But it's clear now that we didn't do enough to prevent these tools from being used for harm as well. And that goes for fake news, for foreign interference in elections and hate speech, as well as developers and data privacy. We didn't take a broad enough view of our responsibility, and that was a big mistake. And it was my mistake, and I'm sorry. I started Facebook, I run it, and I'm responsible for what happens here. Mark Zuckerberg holds around 16% of Meta shares. His image and fortune are dependent on Facebook, the social media platform. The war in Ukraine, there is global inflation, and companies are not willing to splurge on online ads. Facebook, which relies on ads for 97% of its revenue, is taking the hit. The result is this. Zuckerberg's accounts are bleeding. But ads are just one part of the story. Mark Zuckerberg holds around 16% of Meta shares. His image and fortune are dependent on Facebook. The social media platform made him a household name. Facebook's popularity built Zuckerberg's fortune. It paid for his $7 million California estate, his $100 million Hawaii property, $150 million luxury yacht, swanky private jet rides, and his collection of custom-made Brunello Cuccinelli gray shirts each costing about $400. In December 2021, Meta reported a decline in profit. Its forecast for the first quarter of 2022 was lower than expected. Shareholders began panic selling. Facebook lost $300 billion investor dollars in investor wealth in a day. And this was on the third day of February of 2022. By then, Facebook had already lost users. The platform closed 2021 with less than 2 billion active users, as against 1.93 billion earlier. For a business that uses users as products, even one less login reflects strongly on the logbook. Today, a lot of these users have begun spending more time on other apps like Instagram, but in this in-house migration. It does not matter to matter to Meta. What ticks it off is TikTok. The app's user base has exploded over the years. TikTok registered its billionth user in 2021. That's just after the four years after its global launch. It had taken Facebook and Instagram double the time. WhatsApp had taken seven years to land its billionth user. Facebook is seeing its biggest decline among users aged 18 to 25. The same age group had flocked to Facebook in the early 2000s. Youngsters had taught their parents and grandparents how to create Facebook accounts and profiles, how to add friends. But today's youth finds Facebook boring. They've moved to quote unquote cooler apps. If you look closely, this story, the story of Zuckerberg's rise and decline has come full circle. It's like one of those social media trends. One day, everybody's talking about it. A few days later, later, everyone's moved on to the next trend. Facebook's popularity, of course, lasts more than a few days. Lasted. It lasted over a decade. The platform was opened to everyone in the year 2006. Four years later, the blockbuster biopic on Zuckerberg was released. Ever since, his story has been dictated by the ups and downs of Facebook. Currently, Facebook's market cap is under 475 billion and Zuckerberg's wealth is down to 76 billion dollars. He has lost nearly 50 billion dollars in the first four months of this year. No other billionaire in the top 20 list has come even close to suffering such a fall. You can blame this on the fall of Facebook's profits, its policies, Zuckerberg's leadership. He rebranded Facebook when the world clearly needed a change that went beyond the name. People wanted a change in the privacy policy. 
They needed trust, credibility, honesty, transparency, and Facebook failed to deliver. As Facebook fell from grace, so did its face. Mark Zuckerberg. And if you like the videos, please don't forget to click the subscribe button, the red button down below, and also click the notification and the bell for more updates. Thank you so much.